Hi, this is Lauren Welch, and today I want to talk to you about taking a design from Inventor into Autodesk Showcase and then out to Inventor Publisher. So here you see I have a building block uh, model of a Velociraptor, actually the one you can get our, at our gallery at One Market in San Francisco. And what I want to do is take this from Inventor, um, and here you can see we've got nice reflection, material properties, colors, all that nice stuff. Take this into Showcase, get some really nice visualization, so here inside of Showcase, you see I can take that same Inventor assembly file, bring that in to Autodesk Showcase 2011. Now here inside of Showcase, it's going to bring in the actual Inventor assembly. And this is important because it also means it's associative. So here you'll see obviously the colors come in. Um, let's switch my environment and my scene and make this uh, a little bit nicer. So here you can see out of the box I have a variety of default environments to choose from. So I'm going to stick with this ID Tech. Now one of the nice things, especially from a visualization standpoint, is Showcase allows you to quickly and easily change a lot of things like floor settings, um, lighting, all of these things that can be kind of time consuming and quite frankly kind of annoying in other visualization products. So here you'll see the materials came over, you know, the the just default black and green that I had in Inventor, but here I can assign some more specific materials inside of my showcase environment. So here I'll stick with like a black mat, I'll take the green and all green blocks and make them a nice bright uh, plastic that's defined inside of showcase and I'll do the same with this yellow. Now one of the other things I can do is take things like that uh, clear plastic I have up there and maybe I want to, to make it like a red lens uh, some of the default materials I have in showcase. So now very quickly and very easily I've taken that inventor um, assembly model brought it into showcase and now I have a much more realistic visualization. Now one of the things I notice is I'm missing the tail. So back inside of inventor I'll go in and I'll take um, my tail uh, IPT part file and I'll just put it in my assembly design environment and very quickly and easily I'll just simply place this in. Now what I'm going to do here after I get this placed in is just see how that updates my visualization inside of Showcase. So I've got this in place um, again kind of quick and dirty I just kind of put that in place get it locked in and I'm simply going to go back and I'm going to save this inventor assembly file. Now I've added geometry, I've added a component here. Let's see how that affects my showcase um, environment. So inside of showcase it tells me I need to do an update. So I simply click that and it actually goes back, looks at the inventor assembly file and it'll automatically do that associative update for me. So a very quick way where I can you know, purposely say, oh there's been a change to the assembly model in Inventor, let me take that and update my visualization automatically. So again, I'll just go ahead and assign um, a material inside of Showcase for that tail. Now that that's set up, of course, I could switch to different environments, do a bunch of shots, all the amazing things you can do in Showcase. I'm just going to quickly and easily uh, rotate to a, a good position, and maybe I'll just turn on my ray tracing. Again, the, the thing with ray tracing is we're doing real-time visualization inside of Showcase. Ray tracing takes it to the next level, so you get all of your um, your indirect illumination, all of your different reflections, and you'll see as it goes through, I can turn on my ray tracing status and it lets me know when it's done with my ray tracing. So I'm getting very, very powerful, very, very sharp, realistic imagery very quickly inside of Auto Showcase, again, based directly off of my inventor assembly file. So now that's done, let's see how we can create some instruction sheets with this inside of Inventor Publisher. So again, the same Inventor model that I used inside of Inventor and Showcase, I can open inside of Inventor Publisher. Inventor Publisher allows me to take my Inventor assembly, create a series of snapshots to really show how this product goes together. So Publisher is really nice because a lot of times those um, exploded views, instruction manuals that you make inside of Inventor for your engineers and manufacturing might be different than you want for your end customers. So inside of Publisher I can make um, purpose-built documentation um, for, in this case, assembly instructions. Now it's just a series of snapshots of my model in different view orientations but also the ability to turn on and off um, these models. And again I'm directly interacting with the browser over on the left side. You'll notice that there's very little interaction, if any, with menus inside of Publisher. So we've really made this a very easy, very deliberate product to use, in this case for um, you know the assembly instructions for my building block uh, Velociraptor. So once we get these blocks put together, um, I can create a series of storyboards to show really break down here's how you build the you know the main body, here's how you build the neck and the head, and just simply turn on the components that are needed at that point in time in my design phase. Now the other important thing to realize here is just like in my showcase environment, here inside of Publisher, 
This is tied back to the original inventor IAM, you know, the original inventor assembly file. So any updates I make to that inventor assembly file are automatically going to be reflected in my documentation inside of Inventor Publisher. So here inside of Inventor Publisher, I'm just going to you know, finish off with some of the legs and, of course, um, the feet and the tail. So now we've got you know, these, uh, these, all these assembly steps put together. Now here I can play a video, I can output this to a variety of different formats. I can actually come through and you know, do things like copy and paste specific snapshots um, that I want to, to reuse, maybe in this case to really break it down in more levels. So here I can take a specific snapshot using standard functionality you're used to using, copy and paste, and now I'll take that duplicate and I'll essentially say, well, I actually want a step in between to say rotate it around so people really understand how to work with the model. And again, I'm trying to do this all visually um, without any text. Now, Publisher gives us the ability to do text, but I'm just going to publish a Word document that's just pure images. Because again, you're talking, you know, how to interact with kids. So kids necessarily don't want to read their instructions. They want to see pictures of how to do it. So here I output a Word document directly off of my Publisher session, and I can extract image information, text information, whatever information I want. In this case, I just wanted the images. So here you'll see, we'll scroll through and all those images that I created, all those snapshots came through into this Word document. Now I could output this as a PowerPoint, as a PDF, as a flash video on my website, whatever I want to do. But the important thing here is now I have a full set of assembly instructions based on my native Inventor model. So what you've seen now is we can take from Inventor put together our building block Velociraptor, take that into Autodesk Showcase, and then output it into Inventor Publisher, 